right then. Let's test them out! Hey guys, it's Ash here with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 10 moments from Sonic X. Oh, Sonic, you really do care about me. For this list, we'll be looking at the most memorable scenes from the Blue Blizz anime adaptation. Did we miss your favorite moments? Let us know in those comments below. Number 10, Sonic vs. Knuckles. Even if it's just because of Eggman's manipulations, there's still something thrilling about a fiery fight between these rivals. Although fight is a strong word to describe what goes down here. Sonic's having too much fun taunting Knuckles to bother hitting him back. That's okay, since the Echidna throws enough right hooks for both of them. Not that any of them land. This fight is clearly more about the two's rivalry than the actual combat, and that's a good thing. <laughs> Watching them constantly try to one-up each other is more entertaining than an average slugfest could ever be. Still, it is a shame Eggman ended this brawl before a rightful winner was crowned. Number 9, Take Me Out to the Ball Game. What better way to auction off an all-powerful Chaos Emerald than with a good old-fashioned round of baseball? Admittedly, seeing Eggman, Sonic, and the others step up to bat is completely ridiculous. Strike one. But that's precisely what makes this the single funniest episode of Sonic X. There's nowhere else you'll get to see Amy hit a baseball with her giant hammer, that's for sure. Along the way, the episode even finds time to give Chris some welcome character growth too. At the end of the day, this scene is as far from serious as you can get, but it doesn't have to be when it scores a grand slam in pure entertainment value. I got the first base! Number 8, The Promise to Helen. You really want to see that island, Helen? Of course I do. Then I'm gonna take you. Uh Sonic spends a lot of his namesake series on the run. This time, though, it's not for the reasons you'd expect. Eggman's already defeated, and the president is even going to throw a party. The issue? Sonic isn't attending. He made a promise to show the young girl, Helen, around a flower bed, and he intends to keep it, even if it means dodging persistent government agents. <laughs> This low-stakes adventure is the perfect cooldown from a few episodes of life-or-death combat. But beyond that, it's a welcome reminder that Sonic is more than a cocky speedster. His sweet relationship with Helen is one of the few examples where slowing down was the right call. I want to come back someday with my mother and father. I get it. That way it'll be just as beautiful. Number 7, A Chaotic Showdown. That's it, Chaos! Your destroying days are over! <laughs> the only thing cooler than Sonic facing a supersized chaos is him doing it with a new golden sheen. It couldn't have come at a better time either. The rampaging beast had already flooded the city and was setting his sights on the rest of the world too. Thankfully, Sonic wasn't just fighting by himself. He had the support of his friends, the civilians, and even Eggman by his side. With all that, it's no surprise that Super Sonic evaporated chaos in record time, and he looked cool while doing it. It's a deliriously hype finisher, but from the climax of one of the series' best arcs, we wouldn't expect anything less. Number 6, Maria's Wish. Evidently, hedgehogs have a thing with promises. See, Shadow spent the first part of Sonic X staunchly honoring a supposed vow to Maria, the fate of the planet be damned. But with some help from Chris, Shadow finally realizes the true nature of his promise wasn't to destroy Earth, it was to protect it. Shadow, please promise me that you'll help people and be friends with them. The Hedgehog's exasperated understanding is easily one of the most impactful moments in the series, not to mention a brilliant culmination of Shadow's season-long character arc. Shadow! 
Those people need you, Shadow. It's especially potent since he then immediately saves the world from its collision course with the Ark. As far as apologies go, that's a pretty good place to start. Maria, I did it for you. Number 5. The End of Emerald Unlike most climactic fights, this duel is anything but exciting. Well, now what? Emerald doesn't want to fight the Sonic crew. In fact, the robot isn't even a villain at all. He's the victim of his own maniacal programming, and that makes his final moments downright heart-wrenching, particularly because he doesn't go down easily. Emerald's copycat ability thrashes most of the team, until the only one left standing is Cream the Rabbits, aka Emerald's one true friend. <laughs> Despite their relationship, even she understands that taking him out was a mercy. The fact that they both end this exchange in tears tells you everything you need to know. Don't cry, Cheese. We had to do it. Number 4. The Gold Standard Supersonic's entrances are always badass, but this one puts all the rest to shame. The aptly named Exterminator had done just that to Sonic, and even threw him into the ocean for good measure. Luckily, he washed up next to some Chaos Emeralds, and it led to a grand debut that has to be seen to be believed. Plus, as everyone knows, the best way to christen a new form is with some well-deserved payback. After Eggman's creation handily took the first round, watching Sonic effortlessly get his revenge is oh so vindicating. This isn't the first or last time we'd get to see Sonic go super, but it was by far the coolest. Number 3. Hedgehog vs Hedgehog From the moment Shadow first appeared, this showdown felt inevitable. Even though it took until the final stretch of the series, this climactic bout was well worth the wait. The novelty of two superpowered hedgehogs duking it out is fully realized through some ferocious clashes of might. Shadow and Sonic are so powerful here that not even the Metarex spaceship could contain them. In fact, neither could the vastness of space. If it went for a well-timed black hole, who knows how much damage that duel would have caused. For the sake of the cosmos, maybe it's a good thing this one ended in a draw. That's Eggman! <laughs> Number 2. Showdown in Space Despite the fact that the entire galaxy is at stake here, nothing feels quite as monumental as seeing Sonic and Shadow finally work together. Of course, none of that would even matter if the fight wasn't up to snuff. But we're happy to report that two golden hedgehogs leads to twice the hype, and then some. It's a true sight to behold. That is, when you can keep up with Sonic and Shadow's movements. The sheer speed and scale of the fight really sells the idea that this is Sonic X's final battle. Thankfully, Sonic and Shadow single-handedly ensured that the show crossed the finish line with style. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Cosmos Sacrifice More than Tails, more than Eggman, and yes, even more than Sonic, the Metarex saga hinged upon Cosmo. Her emotional journey from a meek damsel into a confident hero is by far one of Sonic X's best storylines, but half of its impact lies in its explosive ending. With the universe at stake, Cosmo put herself in the line of fire to restrain the villainous Dark Oak. Then it was all up to Tails to make the impossible choice. But I can't. What about Cosmo? Although given Cosmo's impassioned plea, there really was no other option. 
You won't, Tails. You'll defeat the Metarex and spread the seeds of my clan through the galaxy. So in a single push of a button, Tails put an end to the Metarex saga in truly unforgettable fashion. Thank you, Tails. I'll never forget you. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.